I want to show you today how to blend pastel pencils. It's something that I think people feel a little bit apprehensive about, but it's actually extremely simple. Before we get into the technique, I want to cover some of the materials that you'll need. So the first and most important thing is pastel pencils. I have the Faber-Castell Pit Pastel Pencils. I have a set of 60, but you don't need this many or this specific brand. You'll also need some paper that is specifically for pastels. There's a number of different papers that you could use. I personally like to use De La Roni Ingra paper. The final thing you'll need is something to blend it with, and there are two main tools I tend to use for this. I either use a cotton bud or a Q-tip, or I use a specific blending tool. I do find that they perform quite differently. I tend to use them in different situations, but I will cover that in a second. All right, so those are the tools you'll need. Let's have a look at the technique. All I'm going to do to start with is draw a gradient from yellow through to orange and then red. So let's start off by putting some yellow down on the paper. Now there's a few things I'm doing here. First off, I want my gradients to be really nice and smooth. So to help me do that, I need to put the pastel down in a smooth way on the paper. To do this, I'm working in these small circular motions rather than just scribbling back and forth. And that helps me already be off to a good start on making this smooth. I also need to apply, I would say, a medium to firm pressure. I want to get a reasonable amount of the pastel on the paper. I don't want to end up with just a really thin layer. It's all looking pretty patchy at the moment, but that's fine. So once I've done the yellow, I want to do the same with the orange and the red. I want to slightly overlap the colors, so I want the orange to go over that yellow so that there's not a really abrupt edge between the colors. And once I've done the red, I also want to put the orange back over that red, again, to help blend these colors together a little bit better. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with the yellow over the orange. So at this point, I have something that does look pretty patchy, but generally is an okay gradient. At this point, what I want to do is blend it. So what I'm going to do is blend the top half with the Q-tip and the bottom half with the pastel tool. And all I'm doing with both of them is working in circular motions again to try and make this smooth. And just with, I would say, a light to medium pressure going over the top of the pastel and pushing that pastel into the paper. So before I do this, you can see a lot of the paper texture. You can see a lot of the color of the paper coming through the pastel. We want to push all of that pastel into that texture which makes it look much more smooth. It'll also mean that we can put more pastel over the top of this. Now, generally, my rule with both of these tools is to start from the lightest color and work my way towards the darker colors. That's because I don't want to end up getting the darker colors onto the lighter colors. They'll end up looking muddy. So it's exactly the same process for the pastel tool. You will notice a slight difference between the top and bottom set I'm blending here where I'm blending with the different tools. Generally speaking, I would say that the Q-tip makes it look much smoother. Whereas I feel like I have more control with the bottom pastel tool. So once I've blended this first layer, I can do exactly the same thing for a couple more layers until I'm happy with how smooth the end result looks. So that's the general technique, but I don't ever think it means a huge amount until you see it in action with an actual drawing. So this week I've been drawing a bunch of grapes. I'm going to show you how I use this technique for this drawing. So just like in the gradient I drew, I want to start off by getting some pastel down on the paper. Now it's a little bit different in that I'm not just putting down a block color. I'm needing to draw a number of their out of focus grapes around here. But I'm just building up a decent amount of the pastel using a kind of medium pressure to create the shapes I can see within the reference. I'm not necessarily here only using one color for one area. For example, where there's a stem going across the middle, it needs to be a brown, but a lighter brown than I have in my set. So I can just put down some brown, put some white over the top of it. And I do that in a few different areas with different colors, just generally adjusting and adding to the colors I've put down until I end up with something that looks the right colors to what I need, but does look very grainy. You can see all the texture of the paper. So because what I'm drawing here is the background of the grapes, I don't want to have a huge amount of detail. It's supposed to be a little bit blurry. 
So to blend this, I'm going to use a cotton bud. I'm doing this in exactly the same way as I did on the Technique. I want to be starting with the lighter colours and blending towards the darker colours. And I am blending in those little circular motions so that it ends up looking smooth. Using the cotton bud always ends up giving a very kind of soft finish. So that's perfect for what I'm going for here for the background. I can then go back over this with more pastel pencils, making the colours look more vibrant. Once it's blended, it looks a little bit more muted. And generally adjusting what's here. So seeing that one area looks a little bit too dark so I can brighten it up or I need to add in a few more details in a particular area. And once I've added in some more details at this point, I didn't want to give such a thorough blend. I did want to keep some of those details, even though it's a bit blurry. So this time I opted to blend with the pastel tool instead. And I'm still blending from the lightest to the darkest. Later on in the drawing, I was drawing this bunch of grapes, which is much more in focus. I wanted it to have a lot of detail, have really crisp lines because it was the main focal point of the drawing. And I didn't want to end up with a really blurry blend for this. So I actually didn't use the cotton bud at all in this area because I get so much more control with the pastel tool. I did all of my blending with this instead. So both of them are fine. You just kind of get different uses out of them. It's just so much easier to control where this pastel tool is going and it just doesn't blend as much so you keep more of the details. that's my general process for blending pastel pencils. If you'd like to know more about more generally how to use pastel pencils, check out this video here. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.